Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the four new shades of blonde that Uniwigs just launched this summer. I'm going to be using the Upgrade Courtney Topper to show you each shade and we'll go through them in detail. So let's dive in. First one we have here is 660R. This is Cali Blonde. Next is H10R Creamy Ice. 674R, which is Icy Blonde Melt. And 672R Light Permafrost. So as I'm filming this, I am standing in front of a large window in my living room trying to give you as much natural light as possible so you can really see the colors. Of course, the shades are going to look different in all different lighting, whether it's direct sunlight, natural light, fluorescent light. The, the shades on these hair toppers always look different depending on the light that you get them in. So I'm trying today to give you as much natural light as possible. So I'm gonna put them on now so I can get a little bit closer and show you all the color detail. Okay, so first on here I have Cali Blonde, which is 660R. This is what I would consider that bright, beautiful summer blonde. You can see here it has a few golden highlights throughout but it is just that very natural, beautiful blonde. This is a little too light for me. You can see my bio hair underneath here is much darker, um, but this is what I would consider like that California blonde. That's a perfect name for it, Cali Blonde. Um, just beautiful, bright blonde for the summer. It does have a little bit of shading on the root here, but not too much. This is a really pretty shade, I love it. Okay, so the next one, this is Creamy Ice, which is H10R. Now, this is similar in color to me to the Cali Blonde, but the big difference is it has that dark rooting. You can see on the top here, it kind of gives it that look of somebody that's not a natural blonde that gets their hair dyed blonde. It also doesn't have as much shading throughout as the Cali Blonde does, but it's still that bright, like, this to me is that bleach blonde look, especially when you have the dark rooting on it. It's somebody that bleaches their hair blonde. This is perfect if that's what you're looking for. Okay, next we have 674R, which is Icy Blonde Melt. I really like this one, I think it's pretty. Now I'm not sure if this is why they named it Icy Blonde Melt, but when you're looking at the shading on it, I feel like it melts into that icy blonde color. It's kind of darker on the top here, and then it gets really bright blonde on the bottom. It has, you know, that icy feel to it, kind of not gray, but kind of in that gray range as far as tint compared to like an ashy. This is really cool. I love the highlighting on this one. It's different um, when you look at it, especially in person. It's unique highlighting. It's not, definitely not gonna be cookie cutter because everything is highlighted by hand. Each piece you will get will be slightly different, but in general, this is what you will be getting with the Icy Blonde Melt. And I think it's really pretty and unique. Definitely one of the more different shades that they've come out with in recent years. And I had to save my favorite for last of all the new blondes. So this is 672R Light Permafrost. And if you're wondering why this one might look a little bit different, this is 14 inches instead of the 12 inches on all the other ones that I was wearing, but it is the same Courtney topper. Um, I love this. It has kind of a light brown in it, more ashy tones. This is a really good option if you're like me, if you're kind of a dark blonde or a light brown, but you want to look blonde for the summer. I actually intend on wearing this one in the fall. I think it's a beautiful end of summer transition piece. But again, if you are light brown and you want something that's gonna make you blonder for the summer, this would be the topper for you. The shading on it is really beautiful. It has the darker rooting, so it gives it more of that natural look and beautiful highlights throughout that are golden. I really love this one. So I wanted to take a minute to compare two of them next to each other. 
This one over here is 660R Cali Blonde, and this one is H10R Creamy Ice, just so you guys can kind of see. I'm gonna go forward and back. Hopefully the camera focuses. Um, they are similar in shading, but this H10R Creamy Ice has that dark rooting, which makes it you know, look a lot different than just that natural blonde look on this Cali Blonde. And I do find if you've been wearing Uniwigs for a while that this Cali Blonde is really similar to Vanilla Butter Blonde. Sorry, I was trying to think which one I wear often. Um, they are very similar. I'm actually gonna do a video where I compare both of those as well. But this, I think, is similar to that. It doesn't have as dark of shading as the Vanilla Butter Blonde. This is just that very natural blonde on the Cali Blonde. And again, this is Icy Blonde Melt, and then I'm wearing Light Permafrost, if you can see. This is more icy. This is more, I would say, ashy with the dark blonde, light brown tones. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, these four new colors that they launched this summer, I was really excited about. It's always fun for me to see new blondes and try them. So if you have any questions, please comment below and make sure you like and subscribe for more content.